Setting up shot back to Van Oosten, high slot. Directs it right side, Archibald for Van Oosten. One timer, he scores! Power play, goal thunder. Steve Van Oosten got the shot. It caught a piece of traffic and slowed it down enough in change up like fashion to go through the legs of Josh Torchman with 16.05 to go in the second period. And the Thunder, for the third straight game, strike first and lead it 1-0. Right wing into the zone with Costin. Clear to Costin, left wing, he scores! Ryan Costin knew where to go with the playmaking skills of Frazier Claire. It was right toward the front. He took the pass at the left side goalpost from Claire and parked one into a gaping cage. They lead this one now 2 0. Avenue. Go check out fatsgrill.com in the slot. Clark shoots, deflected, score! Aaron Clark right in the slot. Took the puck off the faceoff, put it off of Josh Torchman, and then dribbled right on through toward the back of the net with goal number two on the campaign to make it a 3-0 Thunder lead. Seen that happens since Jake Moreland of year one. Ayevel, high slot shoots and scores! Power play, goal Thunder, and it didn't take long. Anthony Ayevel greets Peter Hurst from the high slot, rips a bullet right on through with four minutes and 30 seconds left. His first on the season to make it a 4-0 Thunder lead. It was the type of game that you knew it would be. The first period was a little bit of a a touchy-feely type period. Nobody really pushed too hard. I thought we got a little bit better as the period went on, which was good to see. Um, I thought we would have had, that was our fourth game in five nights, and obviously only our third in three nights. So I thought we had a little bit of a, an opportunity to maybe have a better first period. Uh, and then uh, the second period was uh, pretty good. special period by us. We, you know, we kept our foot on the gas pedal, and, uh, and we didn't have much to show for it. So you, you know, I think you got to tip your hat to uh, George and there. Was, uh, he was pretty dominant in that period, uh, keeping 19 shots out of it, or 18 out of, out of 19 out. So he, um, he was good. And then to come in and, and finish it as well as we did there in the third period was uh, was a special win. And I think uh, I don't think there was a fan that. Uh, could have left the building for this weekend unhappy. Uh, pretty rough. I mean, you know, obviously, we can talk about the Kobe fight. They're rare, but there's a lot of fights over this whole weekend. Too much, I mean, did it get... I mean, like on that third period of Friday, you had like four or five... Yeah, I think that. that's a little bit of a feeling out process. Two teams uh, knowing that we're big rivals going head-to-head, -head, so... Uh, you know, I didn't like the... Uh, I didn't like some of the stuff at the end of uh, tonight more than anything. Uh, Sexton's got a shutout going, and their goalie comes down a little bit of a breaking the code, so to speak. But hey, part of the game, uh, I don't mind it. Give the fans something to cheer about, but um, you know, as long as you win those fights, are always uh, that's always a nice sad touch. But the, um, part of the game, we're going to play that team four times. We play them another six, seven times. Uh, obviously, there's a you know a dislike for each other, and sometimes that emotion comes into it. But uh, part of the game, we're all right with it. One throw one more out. And then guys do a feature kind of, and I think going into this week about the goalies, we talked about kind of, they obviously both, uh, you know, right into the game, separate had a very good game going, so you're going to have to, you got two affiliated goalies, so this is going to be, uh, kind of talk about how you're going to handle that. Well, it's going to be a 50-50 type of situation, both guys are going to get their opportunities, some might play two consecutive games, uh, you know, Seth Smith could, could end up going on Wednesday, let's say, and so he had two, and then pick takes Friday, Saturday, or... One 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 one. I'll talk to them a little bit. We'll see how, we feel, how those guys feel in terms of energy and how they would rather do. Do they like back to back games or uh, at the end of the day, we've got two very very good goaltenders that, in our minds, can help us win every night. So it's not too many tough decisions other than keeping both of them as sharp as possible through throughout what ends up being a pretty hectic schedule with a lot of games over a lot of nights uh, at different points in the season. We talked on Friday about just concentrating on the first period and that being a focus and not getting too far ahead of ourselves, knowing that you're going to have to play nine periods against the same team. And uh, We kind of kept that theme, uh, having a successful first period on Friday night, we kept that theme throughout the whole weekend and we actually broke that last period down into uh, four or five minute segments not to uh, get too far ahead of ourselves because we were one bounce away from that game being tied up so it was a pretty tight uh, affair although we carried the play for most of the, the, the first two periods. So uh, I think what we really did was we 
we try to simplify our focus and not get too far ahead of ourselves and understand that good teams find a way to win these games on a Sunday and, and the guys the guys went hard to, you know, we executed well, we were, we were passing the puck well and I thought our speed was right where you needed it to be on a Sunday and where it should be for our team.